Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. Today we'll cover how to add hardware to an IKEA dresser using a few tools and some math. We'll take it from a, I got this for my first apartment look to a, I'm an adult who can buy fancy things look. So let's get started. Maybe turn it down a little. So let's get started. We had these two IKEA dressers that were looking kind of plain. But getting new dressers is expensive, so we did the next best thing, upgrading the hardware. For materials, you just need knobs and or pools. We like a mix of both. Ours are from Amazon and they came with their own screws. For tools, you'll need a drill, the right bit, and a screwdriver. We like having a drill guide to make drilling straight down easier, but it's optional. We ended up also needing bolt cutters, a wrench, and a spare nut to fix the snag we hit along the way. We'll get into that later. Before you start, carefully remove everything from your drawers. The next part is really important. Measure the width and height of your drawer front so you can correctly place your hardware. Next, measure how far apart the screws need to be for your poles. Our poles are 6 and 3 quarter inches wide, but the holes for the screws are only 6 and 1 quarter inches apart. Distance between holes. <laughs> <laughs> if you subtract that measurement from the drawer width and divide it by 2, that's the distance you need to measure in from both sides of the drawer. Mark these two points, centered vertically. Double check your marks by holding a pull up to them. The knobs are a lot easier because the spacing between them is really up to you. We thought seven inches in from each side of the drawer looked good. Make marks at these two points, centered vertically. Now that you've measured and marked, you can drill holes through your drawer. To choose the right drill bit, Hold the screws that came with your hardware up to different size bits and pick one that's just a hair bigger than your screw. It's drilling time. Our particular hardware came with a short screw and a long screw, but neither worked. We didn't want to go buy any more, so we used this hack instead. Place a nut on the screw that's too long and use a bolt cutter to trim the screw down to size. The cut damages the threads, but removing the nut over those threads will reshape them. Now everything's ready. Just screw the hardware in and reassemble your dresser. Yeah. So for about $35 each, we were able to upgrade our dressers without dishing out hundreds on something new. This project doesn't take much time and requires just a few basic tools, so it's really great for DIY beginners. Thanks for watching our video, y'all. Check out the links below for a more detailed tutorial and links to all of our sources. And subscribe for more DIY videos. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> so you do this, to do this, to do that, and then you're done. Duh. Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> subscribe! <laughs>